Fightness combines fighting and fitness training to get you in ass kicking shape. This program was created for people who want to learn and train mixed martial arts at home for fitness and self defense. And for experienced MMA practitioners and competitors who want to supplement their gym training with at home technique and conditioning. Fightness features MMA technique instruction, sport specific training drills, supplemental exercises, workouts, equipment, and comprehensive workout programs. Get in the best shape of your life. Subscribe to the Fightness YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Join us. Take yourself from fatness to fightness. All right, this is a solo grappling technique workout for both the stand-up and ground for experienced grapplers. So it's going to be nine four-minute rounds, including a short um, warm-up in the beginning with 30-second rest periods. Um, <clears throat> I, I want to stress that this is for experienced grapplers. You need to already know, you know, have a working knowledge of grappling technique in various areas. Um, the, the whole program is going to be about effectively using the technique you know and rehearsing that technique as a effectively as a cardio workout program. Um, so each of the rounds is going to focus on a specific area of grappling technique. Um, you should also uh, make sure that you stretch out and loosen up before the workout. Um, we've cut that part out of this program to, for the purposes of shortening the, the length. Um, we do have a pre-workout stretch complex that I'd recommend you use or, or any kind of other kind of um, you know, pre-stretch you want to do, go ahead and do that. Um, that being said, let's get started. Okay, this first drill is just a warm-up drill. It's a Tai Chi warm-up. You're going to start with your feet wide, back straight up, and you're going to squat down, bring your fingers, drag them across the ground, come up like this. All right? Then you're going to push straight out in front of you. Drag your fingers across the ground, keep your back straight. I'm going to go out to the side, fingers across the ground, up to the ceiling, fingers across the ground, lunge to one side and push out, come back, lunge to the other side and push out, come back. That's going to be the drill coming up next.
Okay, the shadow fighting drill is going to be slap outs, slap out rolls, and stand ups. So for the duration of the time period, you're going to do different slap outs, break fall. So make sure you stand up properly, you can kick or not kick. Do backwards break falls. Make sure you're standing up properly. Side break falls. Standing up properly. And then do rolls, slap out rolls. Backwards, forwards, backwards. All right, continue for the allotted time frame. This drill you can do with or without a heavy bag. It's sprawl, spin, and submission. So start from a fighting stance up here. You're going to sprawl. Spin to the back. Go for a submission. All right? You can also simply go sprawl and go straight for a submission, like a guillotine, All right? Or like a front headlock. All right? But you're going to keep getting up, sprawling, spinning, and go for a submission for the whole time frame. Coming up.
the shadow fighting drill you're rehearsing all the takedowns and throws you know so you can move around the room double leg all right you can go in your shoulder throw fireman's carry etc try to work both sides but work all takedowns and throws for the entire lot of time period coming up
Okay, in this shadow fighting drill, we're working all grappling, clinch, and grip counters. All right, so <clears throat> moving around the room as usual. Think, for example, about a defense and a counterattack. So if you got a two label grip, wrap the arms, step back, trip throw, and a bent arm lock. You got a single label grip, bring them over to an armpit arm bar. You got a headlock, step behind, lift, drop them, arm bar. Continue for the allotted time frame. Okay, grappling counter to the two label grab with straight arms or pushing with the armpit arm bar. <laughs> grappling counter to the two label grab with bent arms or lifting with the wrap through, trip throw, and bent arm lock. Okay, grappling counter to a standing headlock with your opponent on your side with a hand over face and lift throw to an arm bar. In the headlock, step around the back, lift, down, step over, arm bar. Step around the back, lift, step over, arm bar. Grappling counter to a standing headlock with your opponent behind you. To step around to the one arm sideways throw and the arm bar. <laughs> Grappling counter to a standing headlock bending over with a knee block backwards roll, forearm frame and arm bar. Grappling counter to a rear bear hug clinch over the arms with the step behind the knees throw. Grappling counter to the rear bear hug clinch under the arms with the rear straight arm lock or roll to Kimura. Grappling counter to a front bear hug over the arms clinch with a hip throw to a straight arm lock from the side control. Grappling counter to a front bear hug under the arms clinch with a face push to a guillotine. <sighs> Grappling counter to a full Nelson blocked with a trip throw to a rear straight arm lock.
All right, the shadow fighting drill you're doing is escapes from mounts, controls, and pins. So think about your opponent's mounted on you. Hook, pull, come over the top. All right, or you can bump and trip out. All right, you could do side mount, bump, and under bridge. All right, think about all different control positions and the different escapes you know, and repeat those for the entire time. Okay, this shadow fighting drill is guard reversals and sweeps. So think about all the techniques you know in that area and repeat them for the entire time frame. All right? Think about you're in the guard, up and over. All right? Maybe you're here in the guard. You go for a scissor sweep. Over backwards roll. Keep rehearsing your techniques, techniques for the entire time period. Guard reversals.
Okay, the shadow fighting drill is guard passes, all right? So you're gonna re re rehearse all the guard passing techniques, you know, for the entire time period. So think about starting from inside the guard, pop out, do half stack pass, go for example, good posture, come out, you're the over first pass, etc. Rehearse your guard passing techniques for the entire time period. Okay, the shadow fighting drill, you're going to rehearse all your ground blocking submissions, like from all different positions. So from the guard, from control positions, from disadvantage positions, etc. All right, so you can start from, for example, from the guard, go for a triangle choke. You then go for an arm bar, etc. Go up to the full mount, go for an arm bar. 
Keep rehearsing your submissions for the entire time period. Okay, now that we've completed the workout, I'd strongly recommend that you do some post-workout stretching. Um, so you can do that, do that either on your own um, with the stretching techniques that you know, or you can use the post-workout stretch complex um, video that we have in our video library um, on the channel. So take a look at that. It's about 10 minutes long. I strongly recommend you do that. Hope you enjoyed the workout.